All right, guys, I'm back at it again on the 09 Silverado. This time, I am replacing a headlight that is uh, burned out. And, of course, it's recommended that they be replaced in a pair. So, I have a uh, Sylvania Silver Star H11 for the 09 Silverado. Uh, probably about the same for most of the other ones. Now, the biggest uh, issue with these is if you look here... To access your normal beams, your, your regular headlights, uh, it's just right down inside of there. Kind of hard to see because it's a little bit dark, but uh, that's it. In order to access that, though, as you can tell, I cannot get my hand down inside of there. So I have to remove the entire air box to get to it, which isn't an overly difficult process. Uh, we'll start by removing this screw right here, this hose clamp. That'll come off, then you remove the cover, and then this whole piece just comes up and out once you've got that part off. On this other side over here, it's pretty easy. Really right behind your, uh, uh, your washer fluid bottle, or in front of your washer fluid bottle, you can actually get your hand down inside of here, like so. And all you do is turn it and then pull it out. And there it is. Uh, I will get that changed out. I won't show you how to do that, uh, but I'll show you how to do the other one. They're done the same way to put them to install them. You simply let me get the camera where you can see. Line up the little tabs. You might have to wiggle it around a little bit until it goes in. And once you get it there and it's seated, then you turn downward on it uh, and it's set. All right, so I've got the air filter off, it's over there. I've got the top of the air box sitting here. It's four bolts on just about the corners. This piece actually, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit here. There we go. This piece actually comes out without removing anything else like screws or anything by popping out. You can see on the bottom here, there's these little nub pieces here that actually go into some holes down there get that up and out of the way now I have access so if I turn the camera around I'm basically gonna go directly underneath here and I'm in and I turn it to the left or I'm sorry to to the right like lefty loosey righty tighty left and then it comes out like so and there it is and basically all I'm going to do at this point pull this old bulb out there's a connector on the bottom here which makes it a little bit nicer that connector on the bottom where the wires go in that comes off this pulls off I replace it put it back in like I said one thing I will note is maybe a little difficult to see but there is right here a little rubber o-ring you have to be cognizant of that. You want to make sure that O-ring gets back where it belongs, right there in that little groove, okay? Uh, that way it's seated, seated properly. You don't get moisture and things like that inside of your headlights. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out there. Thanks for watching.